Hello everyone, my name is Nicola Aguilar Vega. I'm 20 years old. I'm from Bolivia and I have been studying English during 11 months. I feel grateful with Focus to give me the chance to improve my English. Now, during this project, we will use a little bit of imagination while we talk about an important topic, albeit it doesn't seem it involves so many scopes of our daily life. This issue is about the pollinators, and some people will ask, what is that? And I'm going to explain you how important they are. Moreover, we will see the effect of ourselves as human beings over these tiny friends that place numerous functions in the environment. To conclude, we will see and we will know ways of how we can help and not be afraid of them because they are vital for the life cycle. I look forward to starting, so without further ado, let's begin. Since now, we will use a little bit of imagination. Hi, I'm a bee. Yep, I'm a leaf for a bee. There are closely 20,000 species of bees all over the world, and we are part of the pollinators. Our function is to collect pollen from flowers and a tasting nectar that we use to, in order to produce our honey in our colony, that sweet jelly that you like and enjoy. While we generate our food, we also help the plants on reproducing, transporting the pollen flower by flower. For that, 7 of 10 crops are pollinated by bees. Yes. What I mean by this, that we have a great impact over food industry. We are not just honey, we are part of the production process of your food as well. In fact, 70% of the plants species with fruits are pollinated by bees. As you see, we are important in the reproduction of plants. In simple words, we are so vital for the life cycle and for the food chains. Just like us, the bees, they are pollinating friends that help us too. For example, the butterflies, the wasp, the bats, the hummingbirds, etc. If you don't know, the value of the food that we help to produce by year is 265 billions of dollars so if we decrease the help in the crops there will be a, a food crisis and a price increase in those products that we help to produce actually there are countries where with for the weather conditions the bees can leave okay we can stay over there so they are forced to pollinate their crops manually i mean they have to pollinate flower by flower without our help so for that reason i want to thank you because where we can live with a good weather for us we can still live and cooperate with you humans however not everything is just honey over flakes. There is more of what I'm going to tell you. Despite we and other pollinators can be fine with the weather, we have a huge problem. We are disappearing gradually. We are dying slowly. Since 20 years ago, the bee population and other pollinators have decreased, and I'm sure that many of you have noted. A long time ago, the, the insects in your white shield have disappeared and there are not many bees like me closely of your mokochinchi like it was before, right? There are many factors that are affecting us. First of all, air pollution. Too many cars, buses, heavy machinery, the air gets tough to breathe to us in the city. Besides, 
there are kilometers and kilometers of houses and metropolis that don't have any garden or flowers where we can get something to eat so if you go to the field no that would be worse the agrochemicals that i that are usually used for the current crops are so powerful that make us damage that we can we can get home we can't get home at all because that agrochemical kills us slowly and the worst of everything contaminates our honey it's so sad to hear all of this for, from my sisters in the field and in the city in the was community for that reason i'm here now talking to you like a bee because i want to tell you that you can help us no matter who short and tall old and young you can help the pollinators with three simple actions from your houses the first action is a super advice to romantic couples if you want to give flowers don't give dead and sliced flowers you know instead of that give flowers in pots and help to put it in your garden even if you don't have one you can put the pot all day in outdoors and just like that we could see them and not just getting food also we can help the flowers on reproducing and I'm very sure that all my pollinator, pollinating friends and me, we're going to thank you so much. And we're going to take care of your plants. The second way of how you can help us is that you don't have to be bad with us. I know, I know, maybe you are allergic to us or you don't like us too much, but we only want to feed and survive. So, I promise my sisters don't stink. Okay, maybe the wasp and the African bees have a bad temper, but if you don't bother them, nothing is going to happen. I promise. Okay, uh, talking about my friends, the bats, they don't have the fault to be a little bit ugly and scary. I promise that they are not going to suck your blood. I'm sure of that. Most of them feed off fruit, pollen, and insects. Talking about, in, uh, in relation to my other friends, the hummingbirds and the butterflies, they are so blessed because they are so, so beautiful. And I made sure that a garden with a lot of flowers will attract a lot of pollinators, pretty and ugly. Benefiting that, I will say, if in your garden, one of my teammates decides, decides to form his house, please don't scare, okay? I understand if you want your space, we are going to go, but Please, don't kill us, don't destroy our beehive, it costs too much. If you don't want us there, we respect that. So, the only thing you have to do is call an expert to, to have a correct relocation. And we will move. We don't want the struggles, we want to be your friends. The last support measure to us is that I ask you, please, please, please share this message to your friends, to your family, to your neighbors. Tell them that a loving bee told you this. Give them these three advices, talk about our situation, how they can help us, etc. How many times in your life a bee can talk with you, so please, Make me this favor to share this message. Our concern as bees and pollinators is real, but you can help us. Making that people realize of this 
and take awareness. Each of us make, make, may make a world a little friendly, a little bit more friendly with all human beings in order to benefit each other. In conclusion, returning to be a human again, all we was rise here, no matter the be that we imagined before, the pollinators, the issue of pollinators and its problem is so real. So we have one more responsibility with the planet and with their habitants. Everyone has right to food security. So helping the pollinators with the favor that they make us in their work, besides to help them to get in food and in avoiding its decreased population, we can change the, their critic situation in the world. So let's contribute with our sun grain for this cause for the planet, just like the pollinators contrib contribute with their bit of pollen for all, for all the plants and flowers. Thank you so much and was a pleasure to do this video for you. Um, I have to admit that a little insect is following me. I think he he's mad because I'm not talking of him in my video so he bothers me always if you see it it's a little okay it's, it's moving it's it's not a bee it's not a bee okay goodbye we we got it nice he's not going to bother us more